Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Forest for the Trees and this is a, an unboxing and a walkthrough of the Empathic um, Oracle, almost a tarot. This is by Steve Wilson and Michelle Motuzas. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Forgive me if I'm not. Um, if anybody's an empath, this deck is highly recommended, and I am, so I'm curious and, and um, excited to work with this. It says, an empath feels everything and everyone all the time, whether one, warranted or not. This striking oracle will delve into all the aspects of being an empath through 56 elegant oracle cards in an insightful guidebook. Learn how to manage, heal, and navigate empathic experiences. To flourish as an empath, discover how to identify, process, and command the emotions and energies that bombard you day after day. As a meditation, teaching, and divination tool, explore methods of to understand and manage the deep and vital energies that surround you and harness all the love that the universe wants to pour into you. The, world's, the world desperately needs you. Now you can take control of your experiences and master anxiety and turmoil. So I'm really curious as to how this um, deck will be. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right. Beautiful box. I love how, oh, that is the author's beautiful work. And this is, um, <clears throat> Red Feather Publishing. Very, very impressed. I love how that's all shiny. It's pretty. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. That was my dog, excuse him. He does not have any manners. <laughs> so this is the guidebook. There is 144 pages in it. So we have, yeah, there's the red feather there. Dedications. We have the contents, what is an empath, the tools of an empath, how to use these cards, and then all the cards. There's your introduction. An empath is a person with the paranormal ability to apprehend the mental or emotional state of another individual. Empath is a person who's capable of feeling the emotions of others despite the fact that they themselves are not going through the same situation. And then it asks you questions like signs that you are an empath. Do you have a feeling that goes, I'm sorry, do you have a knowing that goes beyond intuition or gut feeling, experience of physical symptoms of others, etc. And then it goes into, are you creative? Are you affected by your environment? The tools of the empath. What am I feeling? Is it me or someone else? Is it random feelings on the wind? Your physical tools, stones, smudging, amulets, feathers, crystals, intention-driven tools, how to ground, how to shield yourself. Very important if you're an empath or any energy worker. Manifestation, surrender, witnessing, focus, cutting cords, and then how to use these cards and meditations, teachings. You can use this as an oracle or divination deck. Sorry about that. Why divination? How do I do a reading? The layout of the cards. And then it gets into the cards. And they are colored, beautiful. And we'll pull one and, and see how, the, how it reads from the book goes all the way through all right 
So that's the book. These are beautiful. They're gilded. Gold gilded. These are the backs. They are matte. And, oh, let's see. Standard tarot. Well, I'll do that in the front. They are wider. They're the same height. Mm, they're a little bit Standard tarot is a little bit taller. You can see it from the same angle. But these are wider. All right. Put that back. So, they are good cardstock. I mean, they're not too um, thick and not too thin. Again, I love the mat. Let's take a look at them. Bring it down a little bit more. We have the crown chakra. That's beautiful. So it goes, I guess, through all the chakras, your third eye, throat, your heart. The simplistic drawings, it looks like um, chalk, maybe. I don't know that much about medium, you know, art medium, solar plexus. Your sacral. Oh, I love that one. Isn't that beautiful? I love this too. I love your root. That's beautiful. Your groundedness. Your, your sense of home. Your sense of belonging. Your stability. Your root. Oh, and then we have elements. Water and air. I love that. Your thoughts, your passion, your, your creativity. And your groundedness. Stability. The lotus. I love that. That's beautiful. And we have manifestation and shielding, focus, clearing. And this was in the guidebook on, um, oh, what did it talk about? I'll probably not be able to find it now. Yeah, your intention-driven tools. Your shielding, your manifestation, surrender, witness, focus, prayer. So clearing. You know, you smudge or you're clear with, you can clear it with feathers. You can clear it with smoke. You clear with water. The phases of the moon. Mountains. strength the acorns little seeds ah and then you have yeah you have the different seasons I love that spring and summer that's beautiful the, the dragonfly autumn mmm isn't that beautiful Hmm. Very simple. 
Then you have the sun, and this is what's on the the deck cover and the box cover. Not the deck cover, the book cover and the box cover. That card. The moon. The gates. Hmm. Going down the path, going through a new new opening, a new way to go. Then we have directions. That's a beautiful card. North, south, east, or west. Where are you going to go? Then you have holiday. Interesting. Kind of like a um, Charlie Brown. And the ornament's too much to weigh it down. Predator. Interesting. You have the, call, the paw print. Claw. And then you have the hero. So you have the predator and the hero. Crowd surfing. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if this is feeling overwhelmed in a crowd. When you're with a crowd of people and you just feel way out of place. If anybody is empathic and they know what that feeling is like. It's like you can't wait to get home. Get out of there. Too much emotions going on. And that a pretty card. The desert. So much going on. Chaos. Adversity. Hmm. Kind of different card for adversity. Light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, that's beautiful. The sun coming through the clouds. That's really a pretty card. Open heart. Hmm. Authenticity. Wearing a mask. Taking your mask off. The past. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, the present. Growth. Here in the now, be present, be in the now. Hmm. Future. And that's a rune symbol. I cannot think of what it is right off the bat. But my son has it tattooed on his finger. <laughs> I know it's a rune symbol. Purity. That's beautiful. Stardust. Hmm. Containers. Like, do we compartmentalize things? Is that when we put them in containers? Is that like files of our mind? Entanglement. Balance. Sacred geometry. Resistance. Interesting surrender card. 
waving the white flag. You have a timeline. Pedestal. Are you putting someone on a pedestal or are they putting you on a pedestal? Non-duality. Chameleon. Hmm. Oh, I like that one. Validation. Fist. Victory. Specialness. Hmm. Beginnings. It's a phoenix. That's beautiful. You can see the fire. Your story. Gaslighting. Hmm. Somebody making you think of, you know, something's your fault where it's not. Or somebody making you, um, if you've ever seen the movie Gaslight, that's where the term came from. It was about a man who was trying to drive his wife crazy. And he would move things around the house and he would turn things on or off or, you know, making her think that she was doing it and she wasn't. And, you know, making her slowly go crazy. You're stuck. Spinning your wheels going around and around and around. All right. So that's all the cards. 56 of them. I'll give a shuffle. I'm going to back the camera up a little bit. All right, that should be good. I'll give a quick shuffle. Let's see how they shuffle. Very nice. Very nice. Very easy. Very easy. All right. We're going to pull a card and then we'll read, read one from the book. This is, what energies do we need to know about going forth into tomorrow? If it can work that way, I'm assuming it can. What do we need about um, going forth into tomorrow? One card, please. The past. Oops. Alright, so we will see what the book says about the past. That's card 37. Again, you get, um, like up here, it says, The past is where I come from. Let me remember with honor, let me remember with honor its teachings. So that's beautiful, remembering your past, honoring your past. It is true that the past is where each of us have come from, with all its triumphs, joys, hurts, and sorrows, some that seem to have left inde indelible marks upon us. But when you let the past define you, it is difficult to be in the present moment. Missing opportunities that arise to interact without judgment. Nature's laws dictate your experience of cause and effect, and from the knowledge of your past, we can find safety. When you stick your hand in a flame, you understand that you will be burned because of the remembrance of your experience. When you bring your past into the emotional experience, it's because it becomes much trickier. The emotional baggage from your past can make it difficult to form new friendships Venture into a relationship and try new experiences. F 
for fear of being hurt or failing. As an empath, your intuition is one of the greatest gifts and a wonderful tool. But its true ability is only realized when you are present in the moment from place that is not filled with wounds from your past. Is my present moment being dictated from wounds of my past? So it kind of gives you some questions. If you pull this card, you can ask yourself that. Is my present moment being dictated from wounds from my past? Can I remember the joy that was and experience it as a hopefulness that will be? What is being brought from the past into the present? Should it stay or should it go? Should it stay in the past or should it come into the present? Very nice. Very nice. Again, this is the Empathic Tarot. Beautiful deck. Shuffle them all so they're all wonky down. Beautiful deck. I look forward to working with it. And there was no reversals that I saw. It was just straight out. So I'll have to, I'll have to put my cards back into order. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of times when I... If I shuffle and it's in reverse, I just turn it over if it's not meant to be reversed. I like the, the chakras in here. I like the um, elements in here. I like the... Seasons in here. Oh, that's interesting. That's beautiful. You see all the swirls for the air. All right. I appreciate you all watching. I, um... Let me know what you think. If you have this deck, do you use this deck? How do you use this deck? Do you do a draw a day? Do you draw do a draw a week? If you're empathic, does it, has this helped you understand your ability more? Does it make you feel more um, secure in your in in being you? I'd love to hear from you. Beautiful cards. Can't wait to read in the book about it all. That's the thing about doing a walkthrough and an unboxing. I haven't seen them yet either. So I haven't had time to work with or, you know, really get into the book and see, see the meanings behind the cards and see the best way to work with the deck. So I'm curious to get into all this. Beautiful. I love the holiday. There's so many, so many are beautiful. I don't exactly know what that is. Is that your soul? I don't know. So there's a lot to read. There's a lot to, to look into. But again, let me know if you have the deck, how you work with it, if you like it. Um, I know she has another deck out, or they have another deck out. Um, I think it's something about healing Oracle or something like that. I don't know. I should have done my research. But I didn't, so I apologize. It's been a long day. But I wanted to get this out for you all. We'll end on the card we started with or we picked all right again thank you for watching and there's the backs again aren't they beautiful and again the beautiful matte they're not glossy i mean you can see the light but it's not shining like um i don't have a i have a card read readily available that would pick up you know that's a little more shiny all righty beautiful thank you for watching again this is the empathic oracle
candle out a little bit. And the book. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. And um, yeah, I'd like to know if you have this deck, how you use this deck. If it does help with being an empath and um, what's the best way you found to work with the deck. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Bye for now.